Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video with me, your host Blackwell, here at Blackwell TV. Did you know you can get 20% off your basket over at BethesdaGear.net if you use the code BTVStarfield at checkout? Don't forget that this expires on the 16th of September. Check the description below for more details. Anyway, on to today's video. And we are starting off things in the Atomic Shop. It is Tuesday and we do update the store, or Bethesda updates the store on Tuesdays, so we give you the video on the Tuesday and it all makes sense. Anyway, we've got the Home of a Hero bundle for 1,800 caps, and that features the Veterans Kettle Paint, Mud Hut Surplus Sack Backpack, Splintered Stovepipe Paint, which is for the double barrel shotty, uh, Brass Tank Ornament Backpack Flare Brass Nuke Ornament, or backpack flare, and then army issued haversack loot bag. A lot of stuff in that, really, if you think about it. Uh, but it's got a mud hut, basically, it's a prefab. Um, I don't know how well this will be to place. It looks like it should be easy to place, like a probably like a survival tent kind of deal, but it's not a survival tent, it's a prefab, so bear that in mind. Um, the shotgun looks like one from the Creation Club Fallout 4. And what's this backpack? Yeah, okay. So it's got this nice little aesthetic there. It looks military. It's quite fitting with the world. Um, what are we looking at here? The Pit Boy. I don't think there's an outfit for this one. There's the flares. I'm not really sure on these flares. They're a bit weird. That that's quite nice. The nuke, the brass nuke backpack flare, but the brass tank ornament backpack flare. A little bit strange. And then this is a loot bag that you drop when you die or when you drop some loot. So that's 1800. The items can be bought individually here as well. So you can take a bit more, a bit more of a look at them if you really want to. It's okay. It's not too shabby. Um, yeah. So there you go. The Encampment Fortune bundle is back quite a nice little one that one again it fits military with the uh the current bundle here um 20 percent off that bundle as well roadside roasters is still available if you do want that from last week it also looks like camp slots and special loadouts are actually a little bit off at the moment they're reduced in price, which is good. And don't forget that if you are picking up a special loadout slot, it's not just for one character. So if you've got five characters, you can have, it's essentially an additional five slots, you know? So it's one per character, so it's quite nice. I will probably pick up one because I've got two loadouts per build at the moment, and it'd be nice to have a third. So we'll do that. Um, camp slot three. And then obviously you can get even more loadouts per 350. So it's not bad. Um, camp slot three, let's have a look. No, I don't think I need that one. I've got enough camp slots as it is. Uh, moving into Grace Hits, you've got the Mothman Wing Clipper bundle. I didn't see this when it first came out, unless it's brand new. Um, I've got nothing from this bundle, but if you guys have this bundle, let me know. It's already reduced. So I assume it's returning to the store rather than brand new. Um, it comes with the Mothman found pose. Reported sighting photo mode frame. That's quite a cool looking outfit, that one. Um, what's his outfit called? The Mothman Wing Clipper helmet and outfit. It's quite cool. And basically just Mothman aesthetics across the board. Let's have a look. Mothman sightings. Um, what is that? Like just a poster, okay. Backpack, backpack flare. Yeah, pretty cool if you're into Mothman stuff. That's cool. Um, you've got the Fusion Core Recharger and the Butterfly Sanctuary. Two very cool items, but they are a little bit priced. A little bit high priced, to be honest. Cash registers, Fetch, Scavenger, and Sap Collector are in the store at the moment as well. Vaulting, so leaving soon, you've got the Meat Week Bundle stuff, including Hamilton JPEG plushie. And then your free and special offers. You've got some Nuka Cola twists for free, so you might as well claim those. Got a hammock, which is cheap for the day. Tan military beret. And then uh, for Fallout First, you've got some odds and ends here as well. So we are actually down at 
the um, artisan's corner. I came here to make sure that my build was correct, and lo and behold, I've now got th I've now got a third build on every single one of my characters, which is amazing because it means that I can go for an unyielding build, so low health build, whether it's unyielding or bloodied or, or vampires or whatever. You can go for a crafting build, and then you can go for a power armor build. It says add load out there, but that's going to cost you money. So, yeah. So, I can do that across all five of my characters now, which is really cool. Also, it means that I can do, say, like a pistols build and a shotguns build. And still have my crafting build there. So, I'm quite happy with that. And for 350 atoms, I think that's pretty pretty cheap for what it is. So, yes, I would recommend that if you do play this game a lot. If you've got a lot of characters, it's, it's even more beneficial than if you've just got the solo single character. All right, let's take a look at your dailies for today. And don't forget your weeklies have also updated. So smash through these lot with a score booster if you have one. Because um, your score booster does last uh, 24 hours. So yeah, consider that. Um, we, yeah, okay, I'll do that. I will actually do that. I'll be a man of my word. So there we go, we've got a 40% boost at the moment. So we'll be looking at these ones here. So harvest corn, razor grain, or a potato plant 12 times. That should fall out first. Gold star for completing six of these. Remember, meat week's finished, so we no longer have the grams cookout or the primal cuts, uh, you know, um, daily challenge. Uh, complete a daily quest. Cook a meal with plants or fungi. Eat a cooked meal. Harvest a wild plant or a fungi. Or well, fungi, isn't it? It's fungi. Why do I say fungi? It's fungi. Um, kill legendary kill 10 scorched right so a lot of this tells me to go over to the Billings homestead so we'll go to Silver homestead and we'll get the crops that we need and then we'll head to Billings homestead and do the rest if you do like these videos by the way like and subscribe and uh, enable those notifications so you know when the videos are uploaded and ready to roll thank you Right, so we're heading over to Billings Homestead. Um, we're at Silver Homestead to get the crops. And then we'll head down to Billings Homestead to take the settlement and plant them all. Can't do this in a workshop. Why not? You know? Oh. I am the objective. What's that about? It's weird. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> I have a diamond on my screen. I've not seen that before. You know what? I've not seen that before in the 3,493 hours I've been playing this game. I don't know what's crazier. 3,000 hours into this game. If that's... That's surely including the Bethesda launcher version of the game. Or the fact that I've got five characters and none of them are level 500 yet. That's, yeah, it tells you something, doesn't it? I don't know what it tells you, but it tells you something. Certainly. Right, so we've got the um, corn. We picked up a bunch of corn. And we are currently taking it down to the Billings homestead, where we can plant it. Looks like someone else has already done this. Which is fine, because we can take more corn. That's not a problem. Take the settlement. Can we take the settlement? No. We can't seem to take the settlement. I assume it's because there are enemies in the area. Yes. Okay. Let's have a look for some enemies then. There's no one in here. Out in the field, perhaps? Yeah. Got some ferals out here. I just shot a corn. So there's one. And that's all it was. Right, so while that loads, let's take a look and see what we've got going on here. Cook a meal with plants. Eat a cooked meal. Right, so we don't need to plant them. We can just put a um, a cooking station down. 
Yeah, fine. So that's done. Um, we want cooking, so... Put Bob down. Let's go with all, all 11. That should be fine. Okay, and just to finish it off, we need to eat a cooked meal. There we go, just might as well just eat this lot, get out of the way. Great stuff. Right, complete a daily quest, kill 10 Scorched. Um, that tells me to go to Camden Park. Because the Dross Toss, the Lucky Mucker, um, What's the other one called? The Gobbling of the Sausage. I can't remember what it's called. But there's always Scorch down here, so that'll be two... Two birds, one stone, won't it? Dross Toss. There's the Lucky Mucker, and there's the... It's not even on screen. It should be. What is it called? Oh, my God. Well, why is it... What? It's called the something. Chow Line. The Chow Line. Yes, that's it. I knew it was about lines, but I couldn't remember. <laughs> I just always call it Gobble the Sausage because it's a better name. And that's what you do. Uh, so we'll start the uh, Lucky Mucker. You're dead. Must be of ammunition. I grabbed the dross. I grabbed the bucket. I'm off to do the chores. Hello? Yep, ghouls, I hear you. You guys have soggy feet. I can hear you a mile away. You're not getting me. Not today, sir. Madam. Monsieur Ghoul. Okay, onwards and upwards and onwards more than upwards. Rad Roach. Get wrecked. Really? Third one wants to go? Alrighty. Okay, we got a, a wheelbarrow here. Let's come around here. There should be some scorch knocking about. Hmm. There's one. There was one. There's two. Scorched look like the human embodiment. Or the personification of eating pizza that's too hot. And what I mean by that is, like, their entire body looks like the roof of your mouth when you've eaten pizza, but it's too hot. You know? And you burn your mouth. I feel that's how it how it looks. Well, go on, then. Oh, you don't want to do the... Okay, you don't want to do the chow line. I don't have it active at the moment, I guess. Right, some more scores in here. Yeah. Oh. Take your ammo. You know you're in trouble when you're having a shootout with someone and they are looting during the battle. <laughs> they're not waiting until the end, they're looting during. Come on. Thank you. Like, that's a lot of confidence, that is. And then we'll kill that little fella there. And that fella there. Oh, hello. 
Oh, your arm fell off. That must have hurt. I mean, you were dead at the time, so you probably didn't feel it, but still. Let's go back to Zeke. Yeah, we're out of dross. We can't throw anymore. That's fine. You're brave to not not change your position. I've just killed your friend and you're just standing there. That's crazy. Yeah, he did. Alright, okay. Back to Zeke. Hi there. Got Oi. A hacker into explore? I completed it. Son. Did I complete the dross toss? I think so. It sounds like it's just starting, but I'm sure I've just done that. I'm sure it worked. Anywho, we're on to the final one, which is to kill a legendary. Now, you can obviously go and find some legendaries and kill them. And why not? It's a pretty good um, thing to try and do. Uh, or you can re-roll it if you really need to. You know, it might be something a bit similar. It might be something f completely different. It might be epic and be worth even more score. It's completely up to you what you want to do. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to try and find a legendary in real time. So hopefully we can find one. Um, let me set a timer on my phone. Stopwatches there. And we are going to see how long it takes us to find a legendary. So you can obviously get one from the Scorch Beast Queen or from the Wendigo Colossus or, you know, events such as that. But we're just going to go on a limb. Is that even a phrase? Go off on a limb? I, I don't know. <laughs> go off on a limb. What does that mean? I just make it up. It's fine. Um, and we're going to set the time at now and see how long it takes us to actually get a legendary. We're going to go to Huntersville and see how we get on. So, yeah, go out on a limb. That's what it is, isn't it? Not go off on a limb. Go off on a limb means, like, hop somewhere. And that doesn't really help anybody. Go out on a limb. What does that mean? Go out on a limb. Hmm. If you know the origin of that phrase, then let me know in the comments, because it'd be, well, just more information. Or if you don't know it, just make it up and put it in the comments. I'm, I'm happy to just um, entertain the notion. Right, you're not legendary. You're not legendary. And you're not legendary. So, let's go find someone who is, or something that is. Are you following me, or? Yes, you are. Okay, good. And now you're dead. Good. Let's join a team. Uh, let's join this team. Wow. We all have pretty much the exact same health. That's pretty funny. You're not one. You're dead still, but you're not one. Let's go around here. Let, no, no. Is someone in a building shooting a rocket launcher at themselves? What are they doing in here? Yeah, they are. They're just rocket launching. Oh, I got killed by a dog. I don't believe it. I've been dogged. Wait. No, I didn't mean it like... You know what I mean. Back to Huntersville. We've died. I can't believe that. I can't believe it. No, I can. It happens quite frequently. Big melee um, attacks. Rad toads are the bane of my existence. I'm surprised it was a mutant and a hound, to be honest. But, hey ho, live and you learn. Or you don't, you just carry on anyway. Alright, that's dead anyway. Missile launchers. Oof. Okay, still no legendary. Hello, where are you? There you are. There you were. You're now dead. Okay. okay. What? I think upstairs. Do we have a legendary up here? No. Well, we might do. There's a third. I didn't realise. No, we don't have a legendary here. Um, there's another le... Not... 
Le no, it does, it's not guaranteed legendary. I'm stumbling over words. I don't know why. Um, but there is a super mutant normally kicking around down here. No, he's not legendary either. Well, he's a good source of XP. Right, so Huntersville was a bust. I died. I didn't get a legendary. Let's keep looking. Let's get that reload in right now. Let's keep it going. Who's this little fellow up here? Nope, just a skirmisher. Skirmish this. What about you? No. There's a dog around here somewhere normally as well. There's a floater. Okay. Wow. Okay, corpse has gone. That was worth looking at. That was fun. Let's take the freezer pus sack and take the 50 cal rounds as well. All right, we'll head down this hill, and um, I think this is West Tech down here, so. Let's crack on. I'm sure the bivouac's around here as well, but I never recall where the hell it is. It's right next to West Tech. I think there's a death core up here. Cool, that was a. Oh, hello. What's going on up here? Oh, I think it's the um, random encounter where the fridge explodes. It's not. It's just some people kicking off at each other. Okay. Well, we'll leave you to it. I said I'll leave you to it. I've already killed some of them, but now I'll leave them to it. Right, so there's West Tech, and I'm pretty confident there's a death call around this corner. So I'm going to go around here and bother it. On the premise that it could be a legendary. Hello! It is not! Hashtag make death claws great again at 2023. Murdering frogs. Hmm. Mentats. Yeah, sure. Right, we've got to get down there, and I'm just going to hope I don't die. I hope okay. Lovely stuff. Just to let you know, there's 5 minutes and 59 on the watch. It's 6 minutes now. I don't know why I didn't just tell you it was 6 minutes. Dog. Rip. Random truck explosion. Another dog. Rip. Turret. Ow, laser gun. Stop. Hello. No, you're not legendary either. Oh, such an underwhelming server. There's no bloody legends here. What shall we do? Go inside and kill some West Tech fellas. We're on at 6 minutes 46. You're a legend. Level 100, but you're not a legendary. Neither are you. Neither are you. You're not. Let's go up here. All right. Okay. Yeah. You're not either. God. Yeah. You're not. All right. Reloading's not good. Let's stop you from living. Thank you. Where's the next one? Where are you? You there? No. Right, someone's obviously having fun with a rocket launcher. Nope, more level 100s, but no legendaries. Let's get reloading while we can. 
Try and get them headshots if you can. Save that ammo. Still no legendaries. We're in West Tech for. I'm not. It's fine. Just surprising. There we go. That was 8 minutes 31 seconds. And I got Juggernaut's multi axe. So, yeah, I don't know if it's worth your time if you want to spend 8 minutes or, you know, anything up to 8 minutes. It could be the first enemy you see. You could just see a, a Scorched Beast Queen on your server or just go and farm um, Scorched Beast at, you know, um, Fisher sites. But yeah, I don't know if you want to chase that down, if that's one of your dailies, or if you want to switch to daily and uh, re-roll it. But if you're heading through West Tech, you'll probably find a legendary anyway, right? only found one so far we're gonna clear out this part of west deck we're not gonna clear out the other half i just want to see what um what we got up here that guy normally kills me yeah it's just one just one legendary in this part of west deck obviously if you go through the security door there'll be more and if you go downstairs there'll be even more but you know we got it done we got the dailies done they're all sorted um, I will be live streaming on Wednesday, so if you want to check out the uh, the weekly challenges in progression tomorrow, feel free to do so. Head to my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv forward slash Blackwell TV for that one. Still on the road for 4,000 followers. So yeah, there you go. That's the dailies out of the way. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, like and subscribe for more, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Have a great evening.